You won't believe this, but there is one country so crazy about Coca-Cola, they consider it a replacement for water, a sacred drink, and even a cure for diabetes. But before I tell you how they got to this disturbing level of addiction, can you guess which country I'm talking about? It is home to the world's largest pyramid. It has 69 different languages and is said to have the most number of taxis in the whole world. Is it A. Saudi Arabia B. Mexico C. Egypt And the country that is most addicted to Coca-Cola is... Night fam, get ready to hear about Mexico's disturbing Coca-Cola addiction. So, how much is too much? Well, Mexicans on average drink close to 700 cups of Coca-Cola per person per year. That is seven times more than the rest of the world. And you may think that it's still not so bad at this point, but this story is not just about how much Coke they drink, it's about who drinks it. Because there, even babies in strollers consume it as if it was milk. And at this young age, there is a huge chance they drink drink more coke than water. The worst part? It is their parents who allow it. And this doesn't stop here. Because in Mexico some people offer coke as some kind of cure for diabetes. Do you think there are a lot of people with diabetes here because they have sugar drinks? <laughs> And not just that, the same woman also uses coke for her religious rituals, just like these locals from a small Mexican village who also pray over glasses of Coca-Cola as part of their traditional ceremony. La fuerza de la Coca -Cola. So, how did it get to such an extreme level, you may ask? And you already know the answer. It's all about money. Because as it turns out, drinking more coke than any other nation is not entirely their choice. Coca-Cola simply has gained too much power even reaching Mexico's politics. Mexico's former president Vicente Fox actually headed Coca-Cola in their country before he got elected. And considering that Coca-Cola contributed to his political campaign, we can only assume that the company in one way or another had inevitably enjoyed some perks. Of course, this is where the problems arise. Because according to environmental journalist Stephen Leahy, it takes 175 liters of water to produce just half a liter of coke. So imagine how much water resources are taken away from communities just for coke's plants to produce millions of unhealthy soda bottles. Eventually this water shortage problem gets so bad that in some places Coca-Cola is now much cheaper and accessible than clean drinking water. Right now diabetes is still one of the top leading causes of death in Mexico.